we are here uh, for, for an interview at Klangford University uh, for, at, uh, for, the, for the birthday of our head of the department, of Laszlo Pösermini. And also here is Niklas Wirth for, for an interview uh, for Computing Now, that is an open a portal from IEEE Computing to, to provide an, an, an access to all kinds of uh, magazines that are reviewed by the IEEE Computer Society. Uh, my first question is basically, uh, how did you met each other and uh, where your, your paths the first time crossed and so on? Why did you make the first? I In 1977. Yes. This is uh, almost 32 years ago. In the, I was a I had a stipendium how did yeah. in a, a scholarship, scholarship uh, at the ETH uh, at that time. And uh, Professor Wirt was at that time just returning from uh, Xerox Park from California uh, with a lot of great ideas in his package. So it was a very exciting time. This was the time when he designed, uh, it was after the time of designing modular, so it was the time when he was designing modular 2 and more or less parallel to, uh, to that, his first computer, okay. he built the Lilith computer. Uh, after the ideas of the Xerox Auto, so first uh, high power personal computer with a mouse and high resolution screen and high-level language. So that was a very powerful combination. Uh, so you talked about high-level languages and most of the people when they think about high-level programming languages they, they think about you. Do you have any kind of anecdotes to, to tell us where this, these kind of things started to begin also <laughs> when probably together with when, when Laszlo joined ETH Zurich because this, I guess, would be interested for, for our uh, audience. Well, uh, let me borrow an anecdote, namely the one from Art von Weingarten, who essentially was my teacher about uh, new languages when I was at Berkeley. He was visiting for half a year. And uh, after my work, uh, initial work on Euler, it was in uh, languages, um, I was uh, giving a talk at the IFIP Congress in 1965 in New York. And he was the session chairman. And he introduced me by saying, now I introduce you this young man uh, uh, in, in Europe where he comes from. He's known by name, Wirt. And, uh, but here in America, we rather call him by value, worth. Uh, the pun wa was that uh, in the language Algol, which was in everyone's uh, concern then, uh, there are two kinds of procedure parameters. One is called by name and the other called by value. So he took this pun uh, uh, with my name, Wirt and Worth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, as, you, as, as you may remember, a few years ago we had here a, a, a uh, how is it called, the, the, the people behind informatics uh, that was initiated by, by Laszlo and jointly held together also with, with the conferences uh, that we had here, JLMC and, and Europa. Uh, it was uh, in, 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 in memory of the three major uh, computer scientists, uh, Ole Jan Dahl, Edgar Dijkstra, and Kristen Nigard. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the relationship with these people, uh, whether and how they have influenced you and, and your work? I knew both Ole Johan Dahl and Christian Nigor. Uh, of course, their work on Simula was becoming well known back to 1966. But I had not had very close contact with them 
I knew them as time went by, but my much more influential friend, I may say, was Edgar Dijkstra, who was from the Netherlands and then uh, emigrated to Texas. Um, he, I would say, influenced me very much in the sense that uh, he always put clear concepts, clear thinking and clear expressions as the most important things in the foreground. And he, on the other hand, was not so much the practitioner. Uh, he emphasized that everyone should do what he's best at, and in his case, that was rather the abstract thinking. He made a virtue out of never touching a computer, and when he got one as a gift, he left it in his wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> and the contrast, he made a big fuss about his marvelous uh, Mont Blanc fountain pen, and he always wrote letters by hand until uh, somebody in America had the clever idea of designing a font called Dijkstra. <laughs> <laughs> I have to show something. Do you help me to give this book the School of Niklas Wirt? We, we made this book, uh, uh, I don't know how many years ago, quite how many years ago, in honor of Niklaus. Uh, Fifty, See, ten years ago. Yeah, about ten years ago. Uh, scholars of him, and we asked also some of his friends, and Dijkstra was one of them, who took my uh, positive surprise, I was afraid that he will not answer. He sent a very kind answer and he sent a paper in honor of Niklaus, now I have to find it, which was written, of course, as you can assume, in, uh, in hand, uh, handwritten. Right. And then, then we, we said, oh, we, 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 uh, we, should, we should do not type it, but we have to print it in, in facsimile. And it is really fantastic, his, the clarity of his, his handwriting. So it's absolutely unprecedented. Right, yes. So can we say that, that, that Dijkstra was more about uh, doing the abstract thing and, 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 and you have been then the implementer of the yeah, abstract that is, things? Yeah, that is definitely so. He appreciated me as an engineer, essentially, as an implementer. Um, now the other person that was very influential on my work was Tony Hoare, uh, formerly of, Cam of, of Oxford, now at Cambridge. And um, he was something in between in the last 20 years, becoming very much uh, on the theoretical side, but having really uh, high competence in practical work and implementations. Um, yeah, he was also very influential. Well, Tony Hoare, I guess most of the, the students, at least here, here at the Klagenfurt University, they know him, I guess, the first time in operating systems yes. for the monitor concept. And I always tell them, my students, okay, listen, this monitor concept has been introduced in the, in the 70s and, and now it's implemented in Java. Did you use it? So right. it, it makes sense. Do you have something, something similar? Uh, that 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 is is, is teached uh, and has been invented many years ago, and and, and now the students m might think of it. Well, this is not something people people are using out of the box and not thinking anymore. That that there is a lot of of uh, uh, of, of of research behind. You mean something of my ideas, yes, which are yes. now becoming common good? Yes, yes. Um, well, I think in my case, it's more the integration of, of uh, individual concepts, uh, integration into a coherent language, which has a concise syntax and is clearly and strictly formulated, plus built such that they can be implemented efficiently. I think there's a lot of very influential things. So if uh, uh, only most people do not know that, Niklaus knows, of course, but he, he doesn't want to say, but, but uh, if you, even if you look at the C family on the, high, on the best uh, 
languages of the C family, Java and C sharp, uh, the concepts how they, how they of, of a cycle, of a loop statement, it goes back to the Pascal loop because it was the Pascal, the first language. Now, Algo 60 already had some, some good uh, loops, but then in Pascal, uh, Pascal had a proper set of, uh, of loops which were then borrowed by all languages, maybe with a little bit different syntax, but the same ideas, and, and, and there are still many, and, and the, anyway, in Pascal, the idea of strict type checking on the one side and flexible type construction on the other side, this was a, a very basic idea, and to my knowledge, this is the first language which uh, presented it in that form. And this you can find in all languages we use today, maybe apart from C, but <laughs> in the rest, uh, uh, whether object or not. But uh, all that, that goes back to Niklas Wirth, uh, most people do not know that anymore. But, but there are a lot of concepts that our students do not know anymore who invented. So monitor and whore, this connection is rather a, an exception. Most, in the case of most okay. concepts, our students and I am afraid also our professors <laughs> not definitely know who invented them and what is the real story and history behind them.